Hi, this is Jim from HD Reynolds and ReynoldsLawnmower.com with today's video tip. At the end of the season, when you're ready to put your snow thrower away, or even in the middle of the season if you've used it for a number of storms, it's a good idea to grease the auger grease fittings so that this stays well lubricated on the shaft. Now in order to do this properly, you want to remove the shear pin. Our shear pin video shows in a little more detail how to do that. Remove the shear pin and attach the grease gun to the fitting and grease your fitting until you see grease squish out the end of the shaft here. Now if your snow thrower has two fittings, and many do, you would grease both fittings until you see grease coming out at either end of the shaft. Once you've done that, spin the auger. That's the important part because it spreads the grease around so that it thoroughly coats that shaft. Then grease it again. Remove your grease gun and replace the shear pin in the hole. Again, there's no need to uh, tighten the nut too tight when you do this. Just snugly is fine. Then, repeat, you'll, you'll need two half inch wrenches to tighten that up and then repeat the whole procedure on this side. Now before we set this shot up, these grease fittings were actually located around at the back of the auger where they were almost impossible to get to. The way to spin those around is to hold down the auger clutch handle and then gently pull the rope on the engine. Uh, two or three times we'll rotate those grease fittings around toward the front. Make sure that the snow thrower is turned off when you do that so you don't accidentally start it and that will position your grease, fit, or your grease fittings and your shear pins so they're easy to work on. And that's all there is to it.